Hi everyone, my name is Shilpa and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss intermittent fasting. If you are suffering or recovering from eating disorders, it may not be a good idea to watch this video. I do not wish to promote fasting without a healthy relationship with the food. Fasting is a part of many cultures and rightly so because it not only improves your physical health but also aids in betterment of your mental health. It has many benefits and the first and very well known benefit is it aids in weight loss. It also helps in autophagy. Now I want to take a pause here and discuss a little more about this process which is called autophagy. What happens in this process is your uh, older or damaged cells are eaten up by your healthier cells. Now just, uh, it sounds a little weird but just imagine that if you're really hungry and uh, you have nothing else left at home. What will you do? You will go to your food cupboard and find all those small small things leftover things and finish them off. Exactly this is what happens when you're in fasted state and your cells are not, no more getting the nutrients. It will go to these damaged cells and eat them up, clear them up. So this is how body gets detoxed during this process. Fasting also improves the metabolic health. So it might also extend the lifespan. Uh, not much of a study has been, research has been done on this area as far as human studies is concerned. But in cases of mice, it is seen fasting might extend the lifespan. Fasting may prevent few diseases due to changes in the gene expression. Again, there are limited studies available for this, but I'm linking all the studies in the description box down below. So make sure you go and check them out. And last but not the least, fasting might improve brain functions like focus, clarity and memory. Fasting when done more than 24 hours is also considered to give a lot of spiritual benefits. Even if there are so many benefits of intermittent fasting, this is not something that you can do on your own, particularly if you have uh, pre-existing conditions like diabetes or anxiety so in these cases a uh, person should talk to the doctor or a healthcare provider to have a guided approach to intermittent fasting these people also i have seen people with diabetes also doing intermittent fasting very successfully but definitely with a medical advice with a medical uh, observation under observation not without it not on your own In intermittent fasting, you have two windows. One is your eating window and one is your fasting window. There are many types of intermittent fasting. So depending on what is your goal and uh, your capacity to fast, you can choose any of these, uh, of course, with a medical advice. Uh, the first and most common method which is used by many people uh, is 16-8 fasting. So you have a 16 hour of fasting window and you have a 8 hours of eating window. In this eating window, you can eat like 2 to 3 meals. Normally I think uh, as far as I have seen, people can only manage 2 uh, meals and a snack or something like that. And remaining 16 hours, you are completely fasting. Next is 5-2 diet. So in a week which has 7 days, 2 days, 2 non-consecutive days, you are eating less than 500 or 600 calories and rest of the days you eat as normal. This way you are pushing your uh, body into fasting state for 2 days in a week. Third method is alternate day fasting. Again this method I really liked because uh, in this method, you can start, let's say, let's say you eat at 8 o'clock, last meal at 8 o'clock in the night. Then you fast from that night onwards till the next day again at 8 o'clock, you can eat your first meal. And then you can keep on eating till the next 8 o'clock in the next day, next day evening. So this way, you have a good amount of 24 hours of eating window and then 24 hours of fasting window. So this is called alternate day fasting. Uh, people who want more of autophagy kind of a, a benefit can go for alternate day fasting. The next is warrior diet. 
in warrior diet we eat like a warrior so the whole day warriors were supposed to be out on field and only evening they get to come home and eat so only one meal at night will be the big meal and rest of the day you can have small snacks like a small fruit or a cucumber or something which is very very small and non caloric in nature and the fifth method is spontaneous meal skipping now this is not a method that i actually recommend to anyone because when we say spontaneous the discipline the preparation the mental preparation for uh, fasting everything sort of gets disturbed so but if you if you really can't uh, plan for fasting then no worries you can have a spontaneous fast so i don't feel like eating today evening it's okay skip that meal or let's say some days in the morning you don't feel like eating so skip the breakfast so one of the meal you basically skip in the day out of your three meals you can skip one of the meals continuously once or twice in a week so what to eat in intermittent fasting when you are in the eating window make sure you are eating well by well i mean good amount of proteins good complex carbohydrates good amount of fats and good fiber proteins because you of course will need protein to build your muscle intermittent fasting is known to reduce fat and maintain the muscle so you can uh, aid to that particular process by giving a little extra protein i have already done a video about how much protein you need and many sources of protein particularly for vegetarian as, as well you can see the link somewhere here and uh, check that out know how much protein you need and uh, follow that accordingly second important part in your eating is going to be the complex carbohydrates like beans legumes of course soak them sprout them and uh, even rice is okay to eat if, if, as far as it is good rice uh, don't eat too refined rice or refined flour don't have the sugars cut them off and add good carbohydrates in your Uh, food you can also have fruits in that then comes the uh, fat so go for healthy fats like avocado olive oil ghee all these things are good you can consume them in moderation of course during your eating window and uh, last is the fiber fiber is essential particularly when you are doing intermittent fasting because it is seen that many people Uh, report constipation issues when they are doing intermittent fasting because you are not eating as frequent as you are used to so to avoid that make sure that you are eating enough amount of fiber when you are in the eating window when you are in fasting window of course you are not eating anything but you should drink a lot of water that is a very important part as well as you can drink black coffee in moderation of course you can have lemon water you can have green tea these are good options if you really feel like eating but drinking good amount of water if you like warm water drink warm water normal room temperature whatever you like drink enough water during your fasting window so this was a brief guide to intermittent fasting many of you might be already uh, doing intermittent fasting and i would love to hear your experiences so go ahead and write them in the comment box down below and those who are not sure but still want to try and have still a little more uh, clarification required ask me your queries as well i'll answer them to my capacity don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you next time till then take care